Hello, my name is Miss Bellini, your hostess with the uh, absolute mostess. Come, take a stroll with me as we dive into the dark mines on a lonely road that many people don't want to be on, referred to as the friend zone. Technology certainly has come a long way since I roamed the land of the living. Used to have to wait a million years for that screechy dial-up screen just to end, just to send an email. Now, just like that, you can snap, tweet, tumble, and send a message clear across the world to any stranger. You know, it reminds me of this story about a tenant who used to live here. Sweet girl, but she had one fatal flaw. She never was careful to double check her information. What seems too good to be true, usually always is. Are you freaking kidding me? Come on, 60 days, really? I told you I get to rest the rent by the end of the month. Save it, kid. You've been saying that for the past two months. But well, then good line on your grandma. What's wrong with you, girl? She's not sick living in Arkansas, unless I've been sending her money for her meds. I called her. She lives two blocks away. But I have been sending her money for rehab. <laughs> rehab? You expect me to believe that? You know what you are, kid? You're a bullshit artist. I'm done. Rick, please. You're being unreasonable. No. Unreasonable would have been kicking your ass out tonight. You're lucky I found the Lord. Rick! No, kid. You got 60 days. Get my rent or tell Nana to make room on her plastic-covered sofa. still trying to kick me out. He even called my Nana. <laughs> oh. It's not funny, Lex. You know better than yourself, right? How? Who the hell needs a two-bedroom apartment for themselves? Someone who has two guilt and for his parents to cut the rent for them? Then why the hell do you have a 60-day notice on your door? Because Daddy got a brutal salary cut at work. And my mom can't pay for her loan, so now I'm on my own. <laughs> Hashtag rich girl problems. <laughs> I didn't call so you could laugh at me, Lexi. I called you for help. <laughs> uh, Alright, okay, okay, alright. The way I see it, you have either one of two options. You can either A, get a job, or B, get a roommate. Lexi! Nope. What? Why? There's not enough room for my books and your ego. I'd like to remain friends with you, thank you very much. Wow, thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry, Steph, I love you, mean it, but you and I both know that a sleepover is the longest time we can cohabitate together. But seriously, you really should look into getting your new roommate, other than me. Guess it's my last resort at this point. Well, would you rather be throwing your bony little ass in a circle for 20s? Ew, no. All right then, shut up. Roommate it is. Fine, roommate it is. I'll be putting recommendations on Facebook. Just make sure you check.
Don't be bringing in no hobos from Skid Rows or psychos. I'm going to check them out first. I'm not an idiot. So, what do they like to do for fun? I have an extensive collection of used gum. I'm trying to make the world's largest ball of gum. Wow, that's great. That's just great. Do you have some? No, thanks. <laughs> I'll be in touch. So, what's your favorite color? Black. That's a nice color that goes with everything. <laughs> Um, what's your favorite kind of music to listen to? Bar House, Joy Division, Depeche Mode, you know, the good stuff. Right. Well, I'll be in touch. 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 Sixteen freaking girls with weirdos and whack jobs. It's like normal some new minority. Get a roommate staff. Get a roommate staff. How about you help me find a roommate, Lexi? You know what? I'm hungry. I'm about to post for just get back to me to pass my rent. I think my rent was gonna be late if I go. I work my ass off, so I can't pay for it though. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm looking for Stephanie Evans. I'm Stephanie. Are you here about the roommate posting? Yes, I am. My name's Nadine. Nadine? I didn't realize I had Nadine coming in. Uh, you didn't. I actually just came back from work and I saw this on my way out. It came as soon as I could. I hope I'm not too late, am I? Oh no, it's fine. Come in. Please, take off your shoes. This carpet's from Sweden. Yeah, yeah. Of, of course, it's, it's lovely. Please, have a seat. So, Nadine, where do you work? Um, I'm a Hot Topics editor at Cosmopolitan Magazine. Whoa, no way. Yeah, I, I really am. I had a summer internship with them my junior year of high school, and I made such a good enough impression that they offered me a job after I graduated upon completion of an associate's in journalism. Wow, that's really cool. Eh, eh, it's not really. It's just a lot of meetings, work trips, interviews, late nights in your cubicle with Cobb salad, so... <laughs> Sense of humor. I like that. So, tell me, Nadine, where are you staying right now? With my Nana. What do you like to do for fun? Hiking, go to the movies, bonfires at the beach. Uh, what's your favorite food? Thai. Favorite actress? Anne Hathaway. Favorite movie? Bridesmaids. Ice cream? Cookies and cream. Man Crush Monday? Ryan Guzman. Man Crush Every Day. Favorite One Direction member? Who? Oh. You've got the room. Yay! So this used to be my arts room, then it became my plies room, then it became my napping room. Now it's just my junk room. Well, technically now it's your junk room. It's perfect. Glad you like it. The rent's 800 a month, full access to the kitchen and laundry. Well, when would you like to move in? Tonight. Um, I was kind of thinking you'd say like end of the week. I mean, I need a mover to come put all this stuff in storage, so. Yeah, no, that, that's fine. Um, the end of the week works for me. Friday? Friday.
how are you settling in? Um, good, now that all the stuff is cleared. See, uh, she might have had you wait till the weekend. Definitely. <laughs> oh. Speaking of the weekend, here goes my plans. Hey, come on in. Hey! Lexi, this is my new roommate I was telling about, Nadine. Hey. Hi. The Cosmo editor, right? Yes, nice to meet you. I've heard so much about you. Oh, good, I hope. All in the best. I'll see you later. See you. Hey, hon. Hey, how's work? Tiring. Could you with me? I wish I could, but I have to go interview the owner of this new club that just opened called The Maws. I've heard of that one. I heard it's supposed to be really dope. Lucky. Do you want to come with me? Seriously? No way, I can't go. It's for work. Oh, please, it's a glorified girls' night out. You're coming with me. Okay, I'll go get dressed. Oh, Lex, you should have been there. The music was fire and the guys were bellissimo. <sighs> You need you, Steph. <laughs> For real, Lex, you should have been there. Next time, we have to go together. Are you sure you want me impending on you and your new best friend spot? You know you're my only best friend. Nadine's just a cool girl and a fabulous roommate. <laughs> she even vacuums. Sounds fabulously too good to be true. Not even. She's legit. <laughs> oh, did you ever get that background check on her? Oh, I totally forgot. She didn't even apply to the listing. She just showed up. Literally. Even more of a reason to get that background check on her. She's not some psycho killer. She hates hummus for Christ's sake. Hummus or not, I don't want you risking it. You sound like my mom. <laughs> you worry too much. And you don't worry enough, Stephanie. Oh no, use my full name. Must be serious. Okay, Lex. I'll put the background check on her ASAP. Thank you. Now on to more important things. Like what are we doing? I've never been to a farmer's market before, and already my followers are going cuckoo bananas over these pics. I told you, the best things in life are usually the simplest. You were lying. I'd never lie to you. Ew. Wow. I guess evil never goes away. What's wrong? A crappy ex is messaging me out of the blue again. Do you think I'm gonna just check for him? Just ignore him. You don't have to tell me twice. Naked picture of me from like 10 years ago. Who? I don't know. Do you have any idea what this has done to my social media life? I lost half my followers and the other half are calling me a hypocritical whore because I'm always stressing the importance of respecting your body. I am so sorry. How did they even get that photo of you? Hell if I know. No one has this picture of me anymore. Except a few of the ticks I've dated. Maybe someone even closer? I mean, you haven't seen Lexi in a while. Are you guys okay? I don't see why not. I mean, she would never do this to me. Yeah. Yeah, she, she's your best friend. She wouldn't. Um, what about that guy that keeps messaging you? Did you did you ever send it to him? You know what? I think I did. That son of a bitch! First I'm going to curse him out, then I'm going to block him. Good. Now let's do some damage control on all this.
You're a piece of shit. How dare you show something of mine so private? I thought I could trust you, but I'm glad I never have to see your face again. There's a special place in hell for people like you. What the hell, Sam? Wait a minute. How do you have that message? You sent it to me? No, I didn't. I sent it to the Wookiee. Raymond? Yeah. No, you sent it to me after a week of, like, ignoring me. I sent it to the Wookiee. I've been texting for weeks. I've gotten no reply. My numbers must have gotten switched to my phone. Things like that don't just happen, Stephanie. Where's that Nadine chick? She don't work. Why do you want Nadine? Because she might have something to do with all of this. That's bull. She would never do that. I know her. You don't know her, Stephanie. She's been in your house for only two freaking months. This is not some type of freaking movie where everything's all hunky-dory. There are more psychos and sociopaths in the world than ever freaking before, and they're just waiting to snatch up a little beak like you. So now I'm stupid? <sighs> You're naive, and at times, yes, stupid. I bet you didn't even get that background check on her like I asked you to, did you? I didn't have the time. You never have the time for important things, but you have time to be on your phone all damn day on Instagram posting bullshit. <laughs> Gladly. Have fun with your best friend. I cannot believe she would do that to you. Seven years of friendship and all I get is my pick sleeped until my whole life is basically bullshit. It's not, Steph. Don't let that bitch get you like this. It's not just what happened with her today. It's those letters, too. I have another one today. Let me see it. People are so trash. It's a point where every time I leave the house, I feel like someone's following me and everyone hates me. Steph, you can't let them get into your head. That's how they win. That's it for me tonight. I have a 4 a.m. Uber coming for me in the morning to take me to San Francisco. You're leaving me? Just for four days. There's a makeup con and they're letting me leave the interviews this time around. Unfortunately, I can't take you with me this time. I'm sorry. I know, it's fine. It's just, uh, it's, uh, never mind. Steph, don't be scared, okay? Just leave the door locked and you have my phone number. I'll have my phone on me at all times. Okay. Just calm down. Take a deep. Maybe I just gotta wish harder. Oh, please, 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 please. You can't just wish on a star and it's... Shut up, bitch, or I'll slice your fucking throat. This is a warning. I better not catch you on the street. Next time, I might not be so merciful, slut. Steph! I'm back! And I have something for you! A bunch of free samples I got as gratis for conducting the interviews. Steph? Steph? Nadine? Oh my gosh, Steph, what happened? Are you okay? <laughs> These two guys came in and they just they fell over it and I just... Steph, <laughs> slow, slow down, Steph, you're not making any sense. They Don't worry, Steph. I'll never leave you again.
to do Show me how to feel Under your control Everything is real So hit me So hit me So hit me First a confession With you, I feel a connection With you, it's like an infection I've been infected with an obsession With you, never any tension Nothing but love and affection Enough of my case, so let's cut to the chase Listen up, cause these are the direction Head back, hands tight Mouth shut, eyes wide Baby, I'm yours I said, baby, I'm yours Whatever you say go Nobody needs to know Whatever you say go I'm under your control Whatever you say go Nobody needs to know Whatever you say go